It's LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi with today's Data Science Makeover. Watch while Monica Wahi demonstrates how to make a vector of unique values from one column in a data frame in R. Hi there. So, I got the line items data set right here. My little fake data set. My little demonstration data set. And I already ran a call names command on it so we can see the column names. Uh, if you don't know how to do that already, just go to the description in this video. I put a link there. So see how report ID is a second column? And also, you SQL types probably guessed it's a foreign key. Okay, we are getting very SQL-y here already. So let's face it, maybe we want to know all of the unique report IDs in this column. I'm just saying. So Dorothy, we are not in SQL anymore. We are in R, but we can still do SQL-y things. First, we are going to load report ID into a vector. I made two alternative codes for you. See these two commands? They do the same thing. It's just that the top one refers to report ID by its field name in line items, and the bottom one refers to it using the number style. See this? Both ways, I'm going to load the whole column report ID into a vector called report ID underscore column. Am I going too fast for you? If you are kind of uncomfortable with loading things from a data frame into a vector, look in the description for another video where I talk more about that. I personally prefer the word way, not the number way. So I will ghost the number way and run only the word way. Okay, so the first thing we will want to look at is is, 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 oh yeah, what's in it? Let's just run this new vector. What do we see? Dupes, dupes. All right, first, how long is this puppy? All right, let's just run a length command on this vector. I always run a length command before messing with a vector. We wanna make these values unique. We are basically deduping the vector. So we want to know how long it is before we do that. The length command is just the word length and then one argument in parentheses with the vector in it. There's probably other things you can do, but this is all I do with the length command. So we'll run it. Oh, see that in the console? 95. Now, here's what you've been waiting for, the unique command. See that? Like the length command, all you do is put unique then the vector in parentheses. See there? I'm putting the result in another vector. That way I can go back to the old one if I have a question. Gonna run this now. Okay, let's look at the new vector. Yeah, looking good. No dupes. How much weight did we lose? Let's look at the length of that puppy. Oh yeah down from 95 to 30. Beautiful, so sleek. Another successful makeover. Thank you for watching this data science makeover with LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi. Remember to check out Monica's data science courses on LinkedIn Learning. Click on the link in the description.